Welcome to this video. In this video, we will talk about voltage and current. Uh, these are probably the two most important concepts in circuit analysis. And uh, circuit analysis, by definition, almost uh, revolves around finding voltages and currents in circuits. So um, the idea is that voltage and current both are, are both necessary to um, uh, understand how charge moves through a potential difference and charge moving through a potential difference either supplies energy or requires energy depending on what you're doing. So let's begin by uh, first explaining the circuit that we're going to use to illustrate some of the concepts we'll be talking about. Uh, the circuit that has been beautifully drawn here is a, a circuit that is essentially uh, the same as a flashlight uh, we have a light bulb and we have two batteries. Okay, I've also drawn the schematic of this circuit where the resistor, in fact, here we'll, we'll color code this guy. So the resistor in the schematic represents the light bulb and the batteries are represented by these voltage source symbols here. So again, we'll be using um, this uh, circuit to explain how this all works. So current, in its most fundamental definition, is moving charge. And hopefully you'll recall from physics that charge is a fundamental property of certain uh, uh, subatomic particles like protons and electrons. And so uh, current involves protons and electrons moving through uh, typically a wire or some circuit element. Okay, we measure current. Well, and so we might talk about then the current flowing through this wire uh, this would actually be the current flowing through this wire. And when we talk about that, uh, we mean charge that's moving through the wire. We measure current in units of amperes. An ampere is one coulomb of charge per second. Now, being cool, quite often, as engineers, we like to abbreviate this as an amp. But amp is short for an ampere. Okay, so basically, um, uh, we measure, again, current is the amount of charge flowing per second. Now, this charge could be either positive or negative, because electrons have a negative charge, and protons have a positive charge. And so as uh, charge carriers are moving around in a circuit, you may have uh, negative electrons moving or you may have positive, uh, typically ions. Protons tend to not move around that much, but ions uh, might be moving. And uh, strangely enough, in semiconductors, you talk about holes moving, where a hole is considered to be a positive particle that corresponds to the absence of an electron. It gets kind of weird. But in any case, uh, we are going to take the convention or adopt the convention that current is positive charge. So this is going to be moving positive charge. And so when I draw an arrow like this, I guess we'll do this in green. And I say, sometimes I'll draw it right on the circuit. Sometimes I'll draw it like this. Um, when I draw this arrow and I say current is flowing in the direction of the arrow, it means the positive charge is moving in the direction of the arrow. Okay. Now, I'm not going to bother with talking about this much after this video, but I just want to make sure that you understand 
that um, a couple of interesting things could happen. I could indeed have some sort of positive uh, particle uh, flowing to the right. In a wire, however, most of the, or the charge carriers are electrons. So a positive current to the right actually corresponds to electrons in the wire flowing to the left. And there is actually a convention where you uh, um, show positive current as uh, negative current electrons flowing. But we're not going to work with that. When we talk about current, we talk about positive charge moving in a certain direction. Um, the thing that typically makes uh, charge move in a uh, circuit is what we call voltage. And voltage is a potential uh, difference. So I might talk about the voltage between this point and this point in my circuit. This would be the voltage across the light bulb. And when I talk about a voltage across the light bulb, what I mean is that there is an electrical potential difference between this point and this point. And in the case of a light bulb, uh, if the positive current is flowing in the direction that we've drawn the green arrow, then um, the uh, flow of current through the uh, voltage, uh, the potential difference across the light bulb, is actually uh, uh, taking the energy, the potential energy, in the current and converting it into a different type of energy in the light bulb. It's heat and light, mostly heat. So um, voltage basically uh, is the work or the energy that either is required to move a, a particular amount of charge uh, through a potential difference or uh, the amount of work that you can get out of current moving through a potential difference. Okay, actually of a particular amount of charge moving through a potential difference. So voltage, the unit, or it's measured in terms of the volt, named after Mr. Volt, who uh, uh, did a lot of investigation into this sort of stuff. And it's represented in terms, or it's derived as joules per coulomb. Again, it's the amount of energy. Uh, one volt represents a potential, different, a potential difference that if you take one coulomb of charge and move it through that potential uh, difference, it will either require one uh, joule to do it if you're moving against the potential difference, or you'll get one joule out of the deal if you're moving with the potential difference. So um, that's the idea behind voltage and current. Um, a couple things that you need to remember. Current is something that flows. So we think of electrons or um, positive charge carriers flowing through a wire or flowing through the resistor. So uh, they flow, they go from here to there and back up through the batteries. So current flows. Voltage is the potential difference. It's measured across elements. So in order to talk about a voltage, I need to Oops. I need to talk about the voltage difference between two different points. An analogy that's not perfect but is quite helpful is to think of current as perhaps water or some other fluid flowing through a system of pipes and voltage representing the elevation of the, uh, of the water as it flows through the pipes. So if water goes from a high to a low uh, elevation, then uh, that water uh, loses potential energy. That potential energy can uh, be used to do useful work. So for example, if you're building a uh, dam, um, that's how you create electrical energy from water moving. 
if you're moving water from a lower potential to a higher potential, and this is gravitational potential energy, then um, you're increasing the potential energy of the water. Current and voltage conceptually work very similar, except uh, it's somewhat more complicated. You need to remember that um, you can have uh, negative charge carriers and all that weird stuff, but um, conceptually it's quite a useful uh, analogy. Okay, so suppose that um, for reasons that I won't go into, but something happens to make the voltage here, or the voltage difference between here and here such that the bottom of the resistor has a higher potential than the top. Okay, You'll notice in my representing the voltage before, I had a plus sign and a negative sign. And you have to do that when you're representing the voltage. You have to show what you're assuming the higher potential to be. But suppose in real life the actual voltage is higher at the bottom of the resistor down here than at the top. Well, that just corresponds to a voltage that if I've labeled it as plus and minus, it just corresponds to a voltage that's negative. In a similar vein, if I have current that I've labeled as flowing from, say, left to right, but in fact is actually flowing from right to left, so the actual current in this circuit, if it were to be flowing from right to left, that would just be a negative current. Okay, So the way I've labeled this circuit with my green arrows for current, I could talk about one amp, and that would be one ampere of current flowing from left to right. I could talk about negative one amp, and that would be one ampere of current flowing from right to left. Similarly, I could talk about one volt, and that means there's a potential difference of one volt from this end of the resistor to this end. So from top to bottom, there's a potential difference of one volt. If I have a potential difference of minus one volt, that means that there is, or, or that the bottom of the resistor is a higher potential than the top. Okay. Um, so to summarize, one last time, current flows. One of the mistakes beginning students often make when they're dealing with circuit analysis is to say voltage is flowing around the circuit. Uh, quite often that's a good way to get yourself hit um, if, you're, if your teacher tends to get uh, upset easily. Uh, voltage never flows. Current always flows. Voltage, again, is a potential difference. So you talk about voltage across elements and current through elements. Um, so that's pretty much it for this uh, video. Hopefully you found it useful.